Welcome surfboard lovers, boardshop.co.uk, surfboard review time. Um, another bit of Dan Man magic coming your way. The new sweet potato. Now, if you're as old as me, quite old, um, you'll remember the first one. Came out in about 2016, sweet potato, great big round tail, had about the same volume as a longboard, but all packed into a 5.4. It was a crazy, crazy over-volumed kind of stubby short board, but it was magical because it in effect replaced the longboard. It got you going in the tiniest surf and because of some of the design features, it actually went rail to rail and turned okay as well. So this is the updated version. Um, the tail has changed. It's now into this shallow swallow, taken a bit of the width and a bit of the volume out the back of the board, but still <coughs> with a template and a rocker line, that will get you going in absolutely anything. You know, days when you probably wouldn't even surf or you take out a longboard, you've now got something that can fit in your car easily and not have to stick on the roof rack that will make sure you have a lot of fun and actually be able to surf as well. So let's have a little spin around the beast. You can see on the deck here, it's kind of domed. Um, it pairs down into the rail, so there's a lot of volume being smuggled, hidden up the middle of the board, which obviously is where you need it for paddling and wave catching. Very flat rocker, as you would imagine. Enough lift in the nose to stop you digging in when you're doing little turns and what have you. Wide point, about as far forward as it can be on a surfboard. And then this little pulled in swallow, which is nicely thinned out as well as it comes right into the end. Um, again, reduces the volume there, so makes the board a little bit easier to get turning. And just on the fins, it's almost got a little hip here. Not a Channel Island style hip, but just enough pulling in there to give you a kind of a pivot point so the board's maneuverable. And then most importantly, it's still got this crazy spine, double concave kind of feature through the board. Um, big spine that comes all the way in, all the way down through the fins. And Dan Mann has tweaked the fins, the, uh, sorry, the uh, board through the fins a little bit to generate a little bit more lift and to make it a little bit looser as well. So all in all, you've got a crazy package which can replace your long board much more convenient to cart around uh, and it, yeah it's still fun to surf in all sorts of conditions um, this is a 5.4 and it's packing in 34.9 liters so you can you can see it's absolutely loaded now um, fin wise the first version we always surf that as a quad i uh, don't see any reason to do differently this time something nice and chunky like this split keel um, would work really well. Lots of people are going to surf it as a twin with a little trailer maybe, or just a pure twin. But the great thing about a board like this is that it will work slightly differently with all fin variations. So you just need to break your fins out um, and just have an experiment and play around. If you're looking for a board that's going to work in anything from like calf to shoulder, almost head height, depending on the quality of the wave, um, the Sweet Potato, the new version, um, is going to be a lot of fun. <clears throat> Add it to your quiver um, and make sure you guarantee that you maximise your surfing fun in the summer or when the waves are smaller and weaker. It's online right now. Uh, we're stoked to be part of the launch, the global launch for Firewire for this board. You can of course buy on interest free credit, trade in old boards, any questions at all you know where we are. There it is, the Dan Man Firewire Sweet Potato, I should say in the excellent helium construction but you probably already spotted that. Cheers.